this is the Wager Leprosarium. And this year, Joy FM Easter Soup Kitchen is here. Just to tell you a little bit about the Leprosarium before I talk to the managers itself. The Leprosarium has been operating since 1950, well over 70 years now. And this is a place where people living with leprosy come to seek refuge. It is one of many shelters across the country. But this is its headquarters and arguably the largest of its installment. But this year, Joy FM has chosen on Easter Monday to have to spend a full day with the residents here. And this is part of its Easter Soup Kitchen project that has been running since the year 2000. They are here to spend the day to dine and bond with the residents here. Well, I'm with Father Campbell. Mm. He founded uh, the Lepers Aid Committees as uh, more than Joy 99.7 FM. Uh, so, Father, thank you for allowing us to share Easter Monday with you. We are so happy that you've come here to share such joy and happiness with all our dear residents here. The way they've been stigmatized over the years is awful. For this little girl, hmm. We sent the team up to Wa to distribute food. And in their distribution of food, they found this little girl. She was abandoned. The family have abandoned her. The mother ran away. The grandfather said she's not human because she's leprosy. And he wanted to do rituals. So they, they, they just abandoned her. We took her here. And we've had to bring her to so many doctors since she came here. One being the psychiatrist because she wouldn't talk, she, she, she just talks a little, she's learning how to talk. Mm. But she was so traumatized, the way they treated her up in the north, happy. You see, if you make somebody happy, you'll be happy. Yes. That's my, my, my philosophy, make somebody happy. Make this little girl happy. And if you make her happy, you'll be happy. Thank so, you, Father. So I want people to be happy. So I'm asking, you know, if somebody can sponsor the sports center, the event center, I'd be so happy, so happy if somebody can help me to be able to do these things, to make these happy. They shouldn't suffer. Mm. They've gone through too much suffering already. There's stigmatization and marginalization. I mean, one CD a day, it's not enough. Yeah, really. We've heard about the place. We've heard Father Campbell talk about the library. We've, we've used it in news. We've covered stories. But I have never personally been here. And so I'm excited to be here to share. We talk about Christ sacrificing the ultimate sacrifice. I'm a beneficiary of the sacrifice of Christ. This is what I can do in terms of also share the love of Christ with others. An opportunity to spend time with people, uh, our friends. Look, I would cherish it always. And that's how, that's how come I'm feeling the dance floor. And it's not coming out right, but it's okay. I mean, happy Easter, hello. If you know me, I know you. If you know me, I know you. If you don't know me too, I don't know you. Ah! Uh -huh. 